Hey guys and welcome to Rosa Scale. So a few videos back I did a video about finding niches which had to do with using the uh, Wikipedia page about different hobbies and there were loads of hobbies. So I thought we could uh, automate the process even further and came up with this little prompt. So I will run the prompt using the WebPilot plugin and then I'll be commenting as we go. So the first part of the plugin is to use WebPilot to read the contents of this URL here. And I'll open it for you, for those of you playing at home. So this is a URL, lots of hobbies. Then the second part of the prompt is asking to choose 10 niches that are non-YMYL, so nothing about finance or health, not seasonal and do not require factually correct information. And these are ideal, ideal for AI. And then we'll be selecting the top five niches that fit uh, the above criteria. And then ChatGPT is going to give us five unique sub niches for every one of those five niches. So let's see what happens. So it read the file, lots of information here. Then it said, based on the content of the Wikipedia page, here are 10 non YLYL niches. Origami, painting, drawing, cooking, gardening, photography, dancing, writing, singing, and knitting. Let's select the top five niches from the list and brainstorm five unique sub niches for each. So origami is split into origami for kids, origami animals, decorations, flowers, advanced techniques. Painting is watercolor, acrylic, oil, portrait, landscape. Drawing is pencil, charcoal, digital anime figure. And cooking is vegan, gluten-free, Italian, baking. And photography is landscape, portrait, wildlife, night and macro. And you get the same information in a nice table format. And we can also, pro if we don't like the niches that we got, okay, give me another five potential niches. And that's gonna reread the file once again. And it's going to give us some more, and I like this suggestion better. Astrology and horoscopes, this is great for AI. Home brewing, maybe. Urban farming, vintage clothing. Aquascaping, I have no idea what that is. And continue with five unique sub-niches for each. So astrology is split into zodiac, personalized horoscopes, astrology and mental health, astrology in relationships. Vintage clothing is about uh, different eras, Thrifting. Thrifting is a huge niche, actually. Aquascaping. I have, still, I have no idea what that is. Aquatic plant care. Aquascaping design principles. And if we, we can easily substitute this prompt with another source. Like best niches for 2023. Best blogging niches. That's what I should have said from the start. Let's see. So we have 75 block niche ideas, okay, from SEM Rush. So now let's try to rerun this prompt here once again. Based on the content from the private link, here are temp top 10 block niches. Photography, traveling, fashion, dating, video games. That's a good suggestion, actually. I like this list already. Although I'm still uncertain about the seasonality thing, because fashion is seasonal, uh, especially like uh, certain types of type of fashion. Photography, not so much. Um, traveling is seasonal. Movie reviews, dating. Okay, the, I like this a lot, actually. So for dating, we have online dating, dating in your 30s, dating for single parents, long distance dating, dating etiquette. Etiquette. Movie reviews, classic movie reviews, foreign film reviews, indie movie reviews, 
For photography, we have street, wildlife, wedding. So yeah, this is another way of how you can use AI to niche down on your niche. <laughs> and I'm sure you'll be able to fine tune this prompt to meet your expectations. If you know already what kind of market you want to be, you can drill it down to find niches only in video games or only in dating. And yeah, so hope this video was helpful. Like, share and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time.